So in this video I'll join you on location in a very fitting setting. We're at North Ferriby. Basically I'm filming this on the 21st, Saturday the 21st of April. Harriers are currently playing here. Well, they will be in about an hour's time. It's right now about two o'clock. This is my first time visiting this ground and probably my only time ever because they are getting relegated. But it's a really nice, quaint little ground. I actually do really, really like it. So back to Kidderminster Luke. I'm back from the ground now, obviously, as I'm now back in my room. We did actually win the game 3-1. And yeah, just a successful away day, last away match of the league season. And yeah, it's been a really good season travelling to pretty much all of the away matches this season. And I'll document that, put some pictures up of it on my Instagram links right there. So yeah, go and check that out for all of the different grounds that I've been to, including this one at North Ferriby. But anyway, back to the actual topic of the video. And this is all relating to the absolute random situation. It's very unique. It's very, very unique. It's not one that I've ever seen before going on at North Ferriby. And I have done a video a couple of months ago about the same club. If you haven't seen that, then that link will be in the description below. But since that, there is a few things that have happened and arguably the most interesting thing so far about the whole situation at North Ferriby has happened. So first of all, since the last video, there's been a public meeting with the fans of North Ferriby who have unanimously voted against the move from North Ferriby over to a different stadium in the whole area called Dunswell Park. Now we'll, we'll see within the next few weeks, months, years potentially whether this will actually action and whether North Ferriby will end up staying in the village. But the fans have made it clear that they do not want the move. So when I was on the coach on the way up to North Ferriby, I was looking through my Twitter and I saw this story come up. Let me explain. So the plan is for on the pitch right behind me, they're going to essentially open this up as a caravan site. There's going to be a total of 46 caravans taking up this site behind me during the week. Then on a match day, they're going to be booted off for about three hours and they're going to come back a few hours later. Basically, opening the pitch up as a caravan site, it will allow the club to get a bit more revenue. It's going to get them about just over £2,000 per week. It's a plan that the council are against, but it's just very interesting and very strange. Now, I can see the point that Jamie Walton, the chairman, is raising that it will gain a bit of revenue. They will gain £53.50 per caravan per week, which will sum to £2,147 per week, which is just over hundred grand a year. So, you know, it's a good source of income, especially for a club of that size, a small club that hasn't got a massive amount of revenue coming into the club. On top of the financial benefits, it will bring a new vibrant community to the village of North Ferriby, which only has a population of 4,000. That will be a traveller's site, and there have apparently been a number of traveller families that have been eyeing up the site. Now, there are obviously a lot of negatives and pretty much the reason there's loads of negatives is the reason that no other club has thought to do this in the past. First of all, it's going to absolutely chew up the pitch. If there is a lot of rain one day, or just, which happens a lot obviously in England, then these caravans are going to be pulled off this pitch, then it's just going to create tyre marks all across the pitch, going to chew up the pitch horrendously. If you have a caravan or like an awning on the side, then it is going to just kill the grass because there'll be no light getting to the grass underneath. So it'll just get killed. Um, essentially when these caravans are moved off the pitch, there'll just be massive patches of dead grass, which is no good to anyone. And that's going to take a lot of money to actually redeem that pitch and get it back up to the standard that it really should be to actually host football. But for the fans of North Ferriby, the most disappointing aspect of this is the manner that Jamie Walton has gone about bringing this news to them. So essentially what he has done is brought them an ultimatum. He said that only 1.5% of the population in the local area support North Ferriby United. And because of the low amount of crowds, that means low revenue through the gates, it basically has left him with a situation where he needs to find different revenue streams. So he stated that the only other way that the club can survive without this caravan situation is for the local businesses and the local residents to get behind the team get through the gates, sponsor the club. Basically give them an ultimatum of either back us or we'll get a load of travellers onto our pitch. And also they're gonna to be told that they have to pull off the pitch on a match day and go and park somewhere else. What if these people just flat out refuse? What if they say, no, I'm not, I'm not pulling my caravan off this site? Or what if they physically can't pull it off the site if someone goes out for the day or something and they 
they forget that it's a match day. And we could find ourselves literally with games being called off because there's a caravan still parked on the pitch. And they might be thinking, will this actually happen? Well, the answer quite simply is no. And the council are very adamant about this. Now the ground is owned by the local parish council and the club lease the ground. The lease is for football and related recreational purposes. But essentially making it into a caravan site is not football or a related recreational purpose. So the parish council have said no. What they have actually done is get into the ground. Uh, from the road there is like a narrow little track. The parish council, they have put two massive concrete bollards in the way of this road so no cars can get down this road. The only way that you can get down this road is on foot. So this is basically the council saying, no, there's no way this is happening. They have said this is only a temporary measure, but it really is just a signal of intent. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this whole situation. Do you think that Jamie Walton should be allowed to carry on with these plans of making this stadium into a caravan site while maintaining its ability to um, continue as a football venue and thank you guys so so much for 5,000 subscribers it's insane we tried to get there by the end of the season and we have actually done it it's insane literally it means so much thank you guys so so much it's yeah I'm lost for words enjoy this video remember to hit that like button and subscribe and thanks for watching